there is something about um, leadership of the big foundations in Michigan, and specifically I'm thinking of Mott, Kellogg, and, and Kresge, um, and I would add Skillman to that, although I don't even know where they fit in the asset management size. I'd add them in terms of um, uh, a model that others are paying attention to. That's, that's different in this way, in my opinion, that they are, um, they may be big, they're, they're, they are big, um, and they may be international funders. There is a very clear commitment to the state of Michigan that's different from when I think of other large national and international funders who are located in a place. Um, they may also have a commitment to a place, but it's it's not um, it's not as distinct in a way as as the Michigan funders are here. And what's also different about it, and here I'm thinking of um, several big foundations in the Bay Area, certainly in Seattle. They have a very clear commitment to place, but they're not. There's not a group of them. There's a there's there's one or two of them. And here there's actually the Michigan funders. <laughs> so from the outside looking in. There is a um, there's a there's a there's an ethos there's a there's a place based awareness and there's a pride and commitment that uh, there's certainly dollars that follow it but it also really shapes the sort of the the view of the foundation from those of us outside the state. Here's a, some hypotheses that I'd be tracking down if I were looking at this historically. Um, there were some very significant fortunes made in this state earlier in the last century um, that were remarkable for their time and sort of their, in, in terms of their scope. I think the, the founders of those institutions um, were very committed to place. And I think Michigan as a place was, um, was unique among your immediate state neighbors in having that much wealth created with a Michigan focus. And that there was probably a very early, I'm guessing, I'd be curious about the networks and connections of the founders and the early leadership of those foundations. Um, this is very much a coastal point of view, born and raised in New York, now live in California. Um, I would imagine there's, that is a possible sort of seedling for then, well, we're here and we can do this together and, and for ourselves kind of attitude um, in a very positive way, proud of, pride of place and pride of um, sort of self, self-capacity. I don't think that's a word, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> then I'm going to guess that there were actually behaviors and traits and, and characteristics of leaders of those organizations who were in positions for a long time um, to set an ethos. I mean, Bill White is part of that and still part of it. Um, and I don't know the length of terms of other CEOs, but I think you're talking about a period of time, several decades, when it's highly possible you've had a small number of people in those positions for a long time, and their own way of being is going to be very influential. <laughs>